Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Ship Graveyard Simulator 2. Now, apparently, this is just a prologue because games don't like releasing full games anymore for some reason. Now, I did actually play the demo of this. It was a bonus video for my Patreons because the demo was a little bit small. But, oh boy, if you enjoyed the first game, this one is such a step up. Let's get into a new game. So, if you've never seen this before, basically, look at the graphics. <laughs> Basically, this is where we sort of live now. Uh, we are going to be scrapping huge ships as they come in and turning that into profit. Bloomin' hell, why is this guy driving so fast? Why have they still not added sound effects? The fact it's completely silent is quite strange. Anyway, we're driving onto the beach where we get our first scrap ship because congratulations, we literally own a scrapyard. Nice. So we got a little shack in here. We've got like those things. We've got a bed we can sleep in. Of course, we've got a hard hat. Safety first, everyone. Right, let's get over this computer. We're in ship tube. Yeah, we can choose what sort of ship we want to buy. I think that one's like a free first one, but let's go with the Blue Lagoon because I have played this game before. It's going to cost us 75 quid. You can see at the top, we literally have 75 quid on us. So if we buy this ship, that's all our money gone. Now, we can see here it contains a load of metals, a hell of a lot of non-metals, a little bit of liquid and some equipment. We should be able to make about 440 quid out of it. So let's buy the ship. Yes, I do really want to buy it. So if we head outside now, yes, look over there. That is my ship. So let's head over to our truck, get in it. Then if we drive over to this, this is what we've just bought for 75 quid. I mean, look at the size of this thing. Uh, oh, and we've got a crane to use this time. That was not in the demo. But yeah, so essentially we've got we've to gotta turn this ship into money. So let's just jump up here. And now we are on the ship. We can see there's all sorts of stuff. So we can like pick up. Yes, all those barrels just went into this crate. But uh, essentially we can like pick up a bit of everything now. And you can see bottom left, we have a player load. So if that goes too high, high uh, we won't be able to move very easily but essentially once you've got like some material you then want to shove it in your truck now my truck's a bit far away uh, but if i throw to hold i might be able to from here uh, launch it oh go on no way <laughs> I have the world's best throw. So yeah, already you can see mechanics very different in this game than the first. Uh, but as before, we do have different tools. So we've got a big old hammer. And essentially, we can use this to like, can you see like those those things up there? We can go like boosh onto those. Yeah, they take a bit of booshing. So essentially, all these things, we can boosh them out with a hammer. So we'll just go around and knock them all out. It could take a little while. But these are just taking apart the like the bits that are holding the ship together. So we want to do that fairly soon, I think. So boosh, boosh. Boosh, boosh. Oh, actually, I seem to remember. Wasn't there? Yeah, I thought there might have been a hold down button to like to save me clicking every single boosh, but there isn't. Yeah, there is though. I don't know if you saw that. Click if you stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Anyway, we'll carry on booshing these. And oh man, there's so much to boosh. There is so much. Like, look at all the indoors. There's like, oh, I'm going to be here for hours. <laughs> Oh, no. But essentially, once you've done like a panel, so like that, can you see this is now, this is now like disconnected. So if I, I mean, I could do it from the outside. I feel like I want to do it from the inside. If I just find the inside of this thing. Yes, yeah, so if I go into here, I think if I then just knock all of these out, because apparently walls are double skinned on a ship, blooming out. But yeah, now these are all disconnected. I should be able to, if I do it, hang on, hang on. I miss some, I miss some, of course I miss some. Boosh, right, get rid of those. So I should be able to now right click and I can like boosh. Oh, look, they all fell off. <laughs> so yeah, if we head outside, look, all the walls have come off. Well, all the wall panels anyway. So I can pick all of these up and they go into my like carry weight thing. And then of course I can launch that into my, into my, truck so ready whoosh look at the throw distance <laughs> i am a beast so yeah i'll just shove all these panels in so huh, i'm sure that's going into my truck and then you'll see underneath they have revealed these things they're like a right angle like an engineering right angle uh, but we can't we can't just hit that with a hammer that does nothing what we can do though is get our circular saw out and we can cut through these so oh man it takes a bit of cutting but that is that one done we can then do that one down there look at the sparks coming out we can do this one up here so that should boost out the way look at the blade it's like glowing i've used it so much all right cut through that come on come on and then a few more down there and then these should yeah they should be ready to be boosted as well so i can give that a boost with my hammer that falls down again this one boost that one boost so yeah compared to the first game this is very very like physics based and i'm sure you can imagine once we start taking a few more walls out this is gonna be fun uh, but for now we gotta pick all of these up all right and then as you can see we're carrying 50 kilos and we can just launch them <laughs> 
We could launch 50 kilos that far into my truck. So yeah, right. Let's pick up all these beams. Launch them over there. Do a bit more cutting. A bit more knocking these screws out or whatever they're meant to be. Then we can boost that down. Boost that down as well. Pick them all up. Shove them in the truck. And then we've cleared out one wall of this thing. <laughs> Oh, we're going to be here so long. Yeah, so let's just head upstairs first, actually. And I guess we go all the way up. Let's just see, like... Oh, man, it's so tall. Oh, look, there's a big old chimney, though. So can I cut this off? If I... Yeah, look, I can, I can slice these away. So we'll boost that out of existence. We'll get rid of this one as well. Boost, that's that gone. And then guess this side, we've got to do the same. So one, and then... Oh, I can't get round. We've got to, got to go around this way. There we go. Two. So that's disconnected now. Switch tools to cool the crane. Oh, this is where we can use the crane, is it? Oh, look, I can crane all of this stuff up. So basically this thing, because it's still clamped down, I can't... That's not unlocked. But that up there... Yeah, look, I've called the crane. Can you see the crane moving? This is so cool. <laughs> It's taking so long. All right, so I guess whilst that's happening, I should probably just, like, boost some of these. Oh, look, there you go. There you go. It's going. It's going. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so where does that actually end up? Because that's not going to reach in my truck, mate. Right, where's it? Oh, it's going over there. Is that, like, the shop or something? Oh, look, we got resources. Low alloy steel and iron. Ooh. Okay, let's just pick up all these old bits and bobs. Launch them into the truck from here. Is that actually going to land in the truck? Yeah, it is. Wow, I'm such a good throat. Yeah, we got, like beds and stuff and like wardrobes ovens all sorts yeah but i think i want to unlock this container and i actually i want to try and stand on it and see if it will take me with it so we'll do a bit of cutting and get rid of that one get rid of this last final one all right and then i'm going up here because i need to parkour my way onto this so let's boost through that door pick up everything in here launch that into the truck there we go right now i've got a clear space to run so huh Right, bloody hell, I nearly jumped the entire thing. I don't know my own jumping strength. Yeah, right, we're going to say, get off the crane able element. Okay, I'll get off it. All right, so crane that, mate. All right, now I'm going to jump back onto it. All right, saying get off. All right, so you can see up there, the crane's moving. If I jump onto it, does the crane stop? Oh, the crane stops. I can't believe the devs actually thought this through. Uh, also, the crane looks like it's got a face. Look at that. Hello, mate. <laughs> All right, okay, so as this comes down, I'm going to jump on, like, just as it starts to leave. So, no, I'm off it. I'm off it. Oh, come on, game. Let me have some fun. Oh, now it's gone. Okay, I don't think I can actually get on that. That's actually a shame. I wanted to see where that went. Anyway, back to Booshin. Boosh, 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 boosh. And I hope I can, like, upgrade my hammer to get one that actually, like, hits stuff better. This is taking so long. But yeah, my theory is if I can take out everything at, like, ground level, then perhaps the stuff above above will fall on top of it of course that is just a theory though it probably won't actually work like that but only one way to find out all right so i think we're getting there i think we've nearly done the entire outside yeah we have so we just gotta do oh we just gotta do the inside now <laughs> Oh, it's going to take so long. Every single corner of every single room needs boosting out of existence. Get out the way, door. Stupid door. Oh, man, look at all this stuff. There's loads of stuff everywhere. Oh, oh I'm literally going to have to get rid of, like, all the internal walls as well. Yeah, I just realized there is actually a downstairs to this. Maybe I should have been focusing down here. Oh, look, there's pipes and all sorts. That engine, that probably needs craning out, doesn't it? We need to get rid of the roof above it. Right, anyway, I'm being distracted. Let's just get back to doing what we were doing, because I feel like once we've whacked all of these out there may be a chance that this thing will collapse a small chance but it's a chance i'm willing to take i trade an hour of my life you guys watching trade about a minute sounds fair right <laughs> this is not fair i hate being a youtuber sometimes all right let's get rid of some of these walls let's bonk them out i do actually love that's what this is called bonking look on the hammer press right click to bonk uh, bonking actually means something very different in the uk yeah, but, oh did the bonk the bonk the bonk released all of them so all of these i can go and pick up now okay that's cool they're 10 kilos each blooming out so can i throw that from here Come on. Oh, that was short. That was actually short. But yeah, pick up all of these. Launch them over that way. And then I guess we can do some cutting of these right angles. So let's get rid of these. Boosh. Boosh. And then presumably I can bonk these out. Yeah, even though the wall behind isn't detached, I can bonk them out. But yeah, then we can pick up all of these. Launch them into the truck. I don't know how much our truck can hold. You can see bottom left, it's got 414 kilograms in it. I'm just going to have a look because I feel like my aim has been... Yeah, my aim has been a bit off. So there's that one that we knew we missed. You can see I've, I've thrown a few a bit too far. So we'll grab that one, shove that in. Grab the one here, shove that in. Now, I don't think that one on the roof is actually in, is it? Yeah, so if I grab that, that wasn't actually in the back. 
<laughs> so 572 kilos in there. I guess it can carry more. So we'll keep on boosting our weight. So let's knock out some of these internal walls. Yeah, because I'm really trying to go for like some open plan living here. So... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we don't want internal walls. Get rid of all those. Pick up all these panels and then you can sort of see where we're, where we're stood. So we just got some cuts to do and then that wall will like nearly be gone. Let's just launch that over there. Do a bit more cutting. Do a hell of a lot more boosting of these screw things. And then I should be able to give this a bit of a bonk. And then, oh yes, oh yes. Boosh, 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 boosh. All right, I love this. Oh, that's, that's, you don't look too happy, mate. Are you okay there? Anyway, we'll pick up all of these. Oh, no. Oh, that bit fell off the edge. <laughs> Shove everything into the truck and then check out the cantilevered. <laughs> How is that I stayed up still? I don't know, but we've got more to get rid of. So get rid of you. I'll tell you what. There's like steps just to the right of me. I mean, I'm tempted to see what happens if I were to stand on the steps. If we get rid of that bit and then this is probably just the handrail, isn't it? So we'll cut that off. We slice it down the middle. And then that should split into two. It does need a boost though. There you go. Boost, boost. So slice that bit off up there. That bit from up here. And we can knock this handrail down. Bonk, bonk, bonk. And then if I cut this thing off at the bottom like that, then I chop it in the middle. And then when that bit's done, we chop it up the top. And then if I bonk this while I'm on it. Oh yeah, we do fall down. Okay, I feel like this game's definitely got physics. So we just got to keep booshing all of these out. Keep bonking. Keep cutting. And I really just want to see this entire thing collapse. I assume it will work like that, right? Surely. Oh, look, a first aid kit. I need that. If you look in the top left, we actually have contracts. So that guy wants wood, first aid kits, washing machines, sofas. Palak wants a load of different materials. Oh, this guy, look. Of course, we've we've prioritized the bridge stuff, but also needs a load of iron and oil. I feel like once I once I start like actually picking up all this stuff, yeah, we might be able to complete some of those. But first, more booshing. All right, let's give this a bonk. Bonk. Oh, man. oh the roof fell down. <laughs> the roof fell off. Oh, every room I go in just has more of these stupid things to hit. Right, if I boost through this door, there's not going to be more in here. Oh, there's... Oh, man. Oh, man. Like, it would be sort of okay if I knew that they weren't double-sided and then they needed stuff in the middle that needed soaring as well. All right, well, I'll tell you what. I'm tempted to go take this thing and see, like, what it's worth. See if we can, like, upgrade or anything. So, where have we actually got to go? I assume... Well, there's sort of two things. So, I think that's where I probably sell it, right? In the recycling place. Fire. Okay, what's this? What is this? You're right, mate. Oh, so you give tools, but there's no there's no extra tools there. Okay. Uh, there's one over this way. That looks like tools as well. What have you got? Oh, I can upgrade my stuff to make them quicker. The hammer. So extra damage and speed. Just 20 quid. We've got saw burner. The chest. Oh, so it makes a bigger, a bigger chest capacity. And then gloves pick up speed. Okay. So as that just needs money, if I head into this and then drive this into here, I should be able to recycle everything I've got, right? Yeah, so we've gone in. And then... Oh, is this all my stuff? Well, what, what's going on here? What's going on here? i got to put it in the right color. Oh, what? Why is this a thing? <laughs> I'm getting like a cent per thing. What? Oh, why is this a thing? Oh, and I can boost it as well. Bloody hell. To boost. Okay, so because I didn't know what was going on, I sort of missed out a load of stuff. I get a 50 cent bonus, is that? And are you sure? If you leave without sorting, you'll lose 50% of missed items. Okay, let's sort it again. Why do they think adding this to the game would be fun? Not gonna lie. Right, anyway, perfect sort. Are you actually kidding me? I've got 75 cents for like an hour's worth of work. Loser, loser. Are you actually joking, game? What? 75 cents? And all of these contracts, they're all back to zero. Oh, I wanna cry. I actually want to cry. All right, well, I'm pretty sure the contracts actually pay me pretty well. So I might instead focus on doing those rather than rather than destroying the ship, at least in the short term. So look, we got washing machines here. We needed those. They weigh too much. Damn it. Thankfully, truck is closer now. So a bit easier to throw in every time. What a throw I am. But yeah, let's just go around and pick up all of these sorts of stuff. Get them all in the truck. All right, so I think I've cleared out everything from down here that isn't attached. However, there is... Like, what, what is that meant to be? It says press E to shut down power. So would I have got like electrocuted if I didn't do that? I don't know. Let's slice it open and see what's behind it. Um, I really don't know. It's just gone. It's just gone dark. Let's, let's slice this one as well then. Sort of just hanging in the middle of the room. And then they got those attached. 
to get rid of that. Another one on that side. And if I boost that down, oh, it falls down. Okay. And then, yeah, to crane that out, I'm going to have to get rid of the ceiling, but I'll do that at another point. I'll then clear out this second floor as well. Yeah, and the trouble with this is you can't just throw like from anywhere. So if I try and throw here, it just like boosts into the ceiling. So yeah, we do actually need to make sure we got a clear shot like that. And I'm pretty sure that's landing, yeah, in the truck. So boost that down, boost that down, pick up all the pieces, throw them in the truck, do more boosting of these things. <laughs> Of course, find another room that has loads of them all around. Right, so I've gone through and done like pretty much most of the booshing and most of the chopping. So I'm hoping I can give this all a bonk with my hammer. So bonk, because it like, whoa, it makes like a chain reaction. I do need to do these beams by themselves, but I can... <laughs> There's so much noise, I love it. Boosh, get down, boosh. Oh, seems I missed these ones. Better just chop through these quick. But yeah, I feel like there can't be too much more, like, actually held together. So we can boost all of these out. Just remove these panels. Yeah, look, there's some more to chop under here. So I better just do that quick. There's always more things to hammer. Always more things to hammer. Right, let's give these a boost and hope the whole thing doesn't fall on my head. Okay, you know, a few more things to sort, including this door frame. So we'll try and chop through that. Got another hinge on that side, but that's that gone. So give that a boosh. Give that a boosh. Then, yeah, the more we pick up, the more we can see we have actually missed quite a bit. But don't worry. I'm only like two hours into this, and I've got 75 cents to my name and none of the contracts completed. All right, I'm getting quite excited now, actually, because the more of these I boosh, the more chance there is the entire thing will fall down. So I guess let's just pick up everything. Oh, it's going to take so long to do this. <laughs> I can only pick up two of these beams in one go because they weigh 20 kilos each. But yeah, I guess let's just clear, like, all the walls so we can literally see what is attached, what isn't attached. There you go. It revealed some stuff like that, which is always good. Pick up all these little beams, all these door panels. And then slowly but surely, we are clearing this out. We can see there's hardly anything holding the actual roof up. Yeah, and it's not just the roof. There's like, there's a whole like, there's two more floors up there. All right, so that's most of this cleared out. Let's just get these last few bits. So you need sawing. So we'll give you a grind. So once we've cut through that, we can give it a boost with the hammer. Then just pick it up, launch into the truck. And then, oh man. And there's like, <laughs> how is this standing up? So we got this door frame to cut out. So we got a hinge on this side, boosh, and then a hinge on this side, boosh. So then we can knock that out pretty easily. We've then got a couple of little right angles to do there. Get out the way, bit of bit of stair frame, bit of handrail in the way there. Right, get rid of that. Get rid of this one down here. A little bit of hammer needed on the bottom corner. And we just got a few more bits of these to do. And like perhaps the stairs as well. So if I just cut off these, I can then give that a boost. Okay, that was just the edge. So last little bit of handrail to do. All right, then stairs. They are, they are done. I'll have to do this one more bit. There's always one more bit. Okay, so, boosh. Oh, God. Boosh. Boosh. Okay, not gonna lie. The engineering that's gone into this single piece of, like, is it, like, plywood? No, it's not plywood. It's on the outside. Well, a single bit of steel. It's holding this entire thing up. <laughs> um, so let's boost it out. Okay, so literally, I think the only thing holding this up, because look, that's not connected, is that screw down there. So let's just clear these out so we can get to it. So why, why can't I hit this one? Why can't I hit it? Game, <laughs> game is the last one. Why can't I hit it? Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. We'll, if we knock out these ones, we can get close to it, surely. So I think if I knock that out and that out, I'm underneath it at the moment. Yes, okay, so that worked. So I think this should all collapse, surely. Ready? Boosh. Oh my goodness, it's actually doing it. Oh, <laughs> look at all this stuff. So yeah, basically I can now just click everything here and then when it's full just fling it that way oh okay so this is the way to do it you literally just take out everything from the bottom i suddenly love this game again oh this is this is very rewarding now just picking up all these flinging them over that way and lots of wood and stuff which we need for our contract the graphics don't seem to like it but i really do uh, it's actually taking a bit longer than i thought it would <laughs> there's so much stuff here <laughs> oh i need to upgrade myself oh, i assume as well can i get the crane to like do that. So if I... Oh, I was going to say, if I just come down and uh, clear that, <laughs> I thought I could just chop this out easy. There's so much stuff that fell down. Yeah, okay, so that's what I need to do. So if I if I just clear out and then I can cut this, I should be able to cream this out. Uh, just got to get to it down. There you go. I can just about see it. All right, so now I can say, right, crane that out, mate. And then while I clear all this clutter... <laughs> 
There's so much. Look at this staircase. It's just like carnage. Yeah, there you go. The crane's coming down. The robot crane. And it should carry that up. Oh, blooming hell. It's physics based. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Look. There's stuff falling down. <laughs> oh, man. This is... Oh, I'm loving this. I am loving this. Oh, look at all those resources. High alloy steel and gold in that one as well. I feel like there was another thing to crane up. I can't really remember what it was. I mean, yeah, we do have this container at the back. So I guess may as well do that whilst I'm here. So we just got to chop all four of these off. Let me see. Right, crane that out, please, mate. Oh, look, there's another one there as well. Okay, so I'll crane that out afterwards. I'm literally going to be here all day clearing this stuff. I can... <laughs> I've not even made a dent. Look at it. Yeah, there it goes. Container up that way. So once you get the confirmation that that's in, which we should any second now. Yeah, there you go. Low aloe steel and some oil. Thank you. We can then say, oi, crane, come get this, like, engine. I assume that's what it is. The thing is, once I've cleared all this out, I've still got, like, like all of this ship has got to go, because I'm pretty sure if I get my hammer out and then boost them, don't these side bits get... Oh, have I got to do... Oh, I've got to do, like, both panels, I think. Hang on, hang on. Let's just boost through these out. Yeah, so I can knock that out, knock that out. Then I guess i got to cut these off. There's one done. I'll just do this one quickly. And then boost those out. And then can I tell them to create... Oh, no, it's the whole side. Oh my God, so that's all one piece. Now, what is what is that, by the way? Is that something to blowtorch? Oh, yeah, it's something to blowtorch. Okay. I was wondering what we were meant to blowtorch in this. So we chop through that. You can see it does actually work how you'd expect it to. You've got to, like, try and chop all the way through it. There we go. I don't actually understand what, what the point of that was. Oh, I was just holding those two pieces together, I think. Okay, fair enough. So there's probably... Is there one up here? Yeah, okay. So we're going to have to chop through all of these. Yeah, there's bits down here as well. So much blowtorching to be done. Hey, at least this doesn't have fuel anymore. I'm pretty sure it did in the in the first game. That wasn't fun. Yeah, so although I saved time by, like, doing the, the top floor, I probably should have just started from the bottom. Right, so there's so many two in this room. You know what that means? We need a boosh montage. Boosh, boosh. Boosh, boosh. Boosh, 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 Boost, 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 boost. Right, so it's been several hours of this now. We're finally nearly there, I think. Uh, it turns out the game does actually have night cycles. We've gone through like two or three evenings with nothing but the sparks from my circular saw keeping me light. However, I think we are pretty much nearly ready to boosh it. You can see actually there's actually looks like quite a lot. Quite a lot's gone on. Let's first off, let's grab our crane. We can tell it to take that piece out. So whilst the crane moves, you can see <laughs> I'm such a bad shot. Like so many of my of my things didn't go anywhere near the truck. So we're gonna have to clean those up at some point. Right, the crane's coming down. That should take that piece away. I don't know if it's gonna cause carnage. Is there like is there floor on top of it? We'll find out when it moves. No, that's good. Okay, so basically in here, I just want to like, if I just boost that, I don't know how big the chain reaction is going to be. Not very, apparently. So I've basically just gone along and tried to make all the edge like, oh, wow, that was, yeah, that was quite a big chain reaction. Ready? Boosh. Boosh. <laughs> oh, God, I hear bad noises. Yeah, I just tried to make it so like nothing was attached on the entire outside. Although it looks like I missed some, so I better just boost these out the way. I'm so sick of this. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I really hope this video doesn't do well because I don't want to play this again. <laughs> oh, dear. Look, yeah, there's more underneath. Right, hang on. So, boost that out of the way. Nice. Try and fling that out of here, but oh, no chance. No chance. Anyway, right. Yeah, I think we're back to boosting. So, bonk, bonk. Oh, look at it go. <laughs> I can bonk this pipe down as well. Nice. So, that's all those done. I'm pretty sure if I bonk that, that should... Oh, I was going to say that should do another chain reaction. Oh, it looks like there's some of these to chop. Okay, chop those out as well. Give that a bonk. And then I should just be able to bonk all of these as I go along. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure I actually did my job properly over this side. So I think all the all these sides are disconnected. Trouble is, looking up, I, I may have forgotten to cut all these. So give me a few minutes. I'll just chop through all of these. few moments later. All right, so 
bonk. Ow, ow, ow. So yeah, I do need to go around and knock these out manually, but we are getting there, I think. I hope. All right, so bonk that one out. Bonk that one out. Bonk all of these out. I don't care if they land on my head anymore. So that should make that... Oh, right. wait, what? What? <laughs> How... <laughs> How are you still up there? Right, what if I give it a bonk now? There we go. Ow. All right, so it's nearly disconnected. The blooming sun setting again. So I'm going to just do one thing because I realized if I press L, there's like this little guide thing. And apparently the sorting place isn't actually where you sell stuff. I think I then have to go to this shop where I can sell everything. Ah, oh, so I... So basically, I could have had more than 75 cents and then I could have probably upgraded everything. Let's go to the shop and have a look. So this explains why there were two shops. There was that one and this one. I think this is like the selling shop. Oh, no, no, maybe not. <laughs> Oh, no, look over here. So there's another shop next to it. So this is the one where I can actually sell stuff. So yeah, I've got 1.2 kilograms of metals. So I could get, I mean, it's only, it's only 12 quid. So I could sell everything for 40 quid. So that's good to know, I guess. Let me just go and check what is the, oh, that's where I sleep. I love that there's like, <laughs> there's a sign for everyone to know. Oh, wait, this is, this is Matt's home. All right, let's sort it. Yeah, let's sell all of those. Yes, I want to sell. So that's everything that I sorted earlier, remember? So now I can go into this place and then I can buy some upgrades so I can get a better hammer. Yes, please. And a better saw. Yes, please. Another 80 quid to do them again. Do you see? Do they look different? I feel like they actually do look a bit different. All right, well, sod this. Let's sort stuff again. So green, bluey boys. Man, there's so much red going in. Oh my God, really? How long am I going to be here? It's been going on for ages now. Oh, there we go. I missed one item. Who cares? I'll lose 50% of one item. Yep, don't care. Leave. Okay, so now sell all of that stuff stuff. What is it worth? Oh, 138 quid. Not bad. So let's upgrade the saw. Yeah. And then, oh, should I do it again? 100 quid. I have a really good saw. And uh, I can confirm visually looks looks identical, unfortunately. Anyway, let's see. Does it actually chop any quicker? I mean, maybe. I don't think it's worth four or five hours of gameplay, though. Do you? <laughs> All right. So we've just got a few of these blow torchy things to do. And then we might be good to try and uh, crane some of this stuff out the way. All right. Nearly. It says crane cannot reach load in the bottom left. So does that mean... Oh, do you think it's because there's this roof on it? I think it's... The... Oh, fine. Let's get this roof off then. And we have to do each of these individually. Okay, my upgraded hammer it does do these in four hits. It... I feel like it was already four hits, but um, I don't know. Maybe it was five. Maybe it was five and didn't waste my money. Yeah, let's just tell myself that. Keep telling yourself that, Matt. Right, boosh, 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 boosh. Oh, look at that. Oh, that was satisfying. Cannot reach the load. Why can't you reach the load, Crane? I really hope I don't have to pick up all these panels because that's going to take blooming ages. Let's see if that is the problem. Well, upon doing it, I have seen that there's this in the corner. So let's just chop that out and see if that makes a difference. No, I didn't seem to. So I'm just going to get rid of every bit of like material on the top. Um... Well, that's annoying. I spent all the time picking up everything. Wait, it could be it could be that. Let's pick these up. Is that everything? I think that's everything on there. Oh, come on, game. Why? Oh, could it be because like if you look where the limit is, it might be because this like middle bit of the building is still standing. I mean, that's not attached anywhere. It is just like I think it's these internal walls. So let's get rid of them. Right, boosh out. I'll chop that off. Give that a boosh. No, that didn't do enough either. Yeah, I think annoyingly, it's these internal walls holding everything up. So, there's only one thing to do. Boosh them out of it. Oh, look in this Look in this room. Who came up with this? I'm actually getting annoyed now. I'm actually getting very annoyed. Oh, I should have upgraded my hammer, not the sword. We'll see, though. 75 quid. You sure get a lot of boat in this. But sadly, that is a bad thing for me in this game. I'd rather have less to do. <laughs> oh, I've spent so long on this video. At least doing this takes about 10% faster because of all the hours I put in earlier in the day. Right, well, it's, it's nighttime again, but sod it. Let's try giving this a bonk and see see what falls not everything annoyingly i think i do just need to bonk some of these get back get back all right so honestly what is holding this roof up disconnected everything surely what's this bit that's you're disconnected so are you oh, apparently these still need motion there it goes there it goes <laughs> Oh, finally, finally. Oh, that took so long. Hang on, there's still some stuff stood up here. All right, boosh. Is it that? Was that holding it up? No, there's still something else holding this bit up. All right, it might be this bit in the middle. If I just get this and then bonk that bar. Boosh. Oh, it didn't fall. It didn't fall. That's not actually connected, though, so it can't be, it can't be this, can it? Let me just cut through that and then give it a 
bonk. Now, I'm not entirely sure what's holding it up, to be honest. Still, pretty sure I can knock it down if I just do this and then give those a bonk. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. I think that's the final bit. Something's holding this up. Maybe... I don't oh, know. I have no idea. I have no idea what's holding that up. Game's just trying to taunt me, I think. There it goes. Well some of it. The good news seems to be if I boost all of these out the way, then I think I can just knock it all down. Yeah, without having to do the soaring. Okay, that's good. That is good. Uh, by the way, screw like picking all this up and put it in my truck. Let's see. Can I... Oh, I still can't... Crane cannot reach the load. I don't understand what that means. The crane's just there. Just come and get it, you knob. But to be fair, this one compared to that one... Hey, look, when you click it, you get all those little icons down there. This one, when you click it, it's just... Okay, let's go have a look. Let's go see what's causing those icons. So it might just be a case of clearing this front edge, which is literally going to take days has revealed a few more of these that I need to boost, though. So we'll do that. Boosh. All right, so that's all the floor at the front gone. Can I now... Yes! Yes! Okay, we can now winch it. And I think I'm actually... I might get winched up. Because I think I'm stood on it. But the crane doesn't know I'm stood on it, if that makes sense. All right, okay. Here comes the crane. This is a huge piece. All right, it's going... Oh, I'm going up with it. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Whoa, look how high we are. Oh, man, this is pretty terrifying. Where's it going to drop me? Am I meant to go down here? Look how much stuff there is in the map. Like, there's, there's ships out at sea and stuff. Oh, look at all that stuff falling off. What does that say? Have I been told off? Zorok, Mask, Staxi, Dude, Rosibrini. Oh, I think that meant get back to work or something. But yeah, so basically it looks like I just need to dig this out until I uncover the bolt holes. So <laughs> oh, I should have bashed everything before I right clicked. I just love bonking, it seems. All right, from up here, you can really see how little of the ship is left. I just, I'm just really struggling to get these to move, like any of them. It's just saying, no, I think I really have to pick up all of these. Look at all my boxes that are just like sprung everywhere. All right, so I've gone through and pretty much cleared anything that's like touching it at all. So surely now, what do you mean destroy all connections? It's not connected to anything, you knobs. The only thing it could possibly be connected to is that middle bit. But I went on top of there. There's nothing up there. All right, look, I'm on top of it there's nothing there's nothing i can do to that can't hammer it i can't do anything i don't know but i'm gonna call that a win 75 quid for <laughs> uh for a hell of a lot of boat i really i can't actually see like who would actually want like boats bigger than this this is like the first boat you can get it's ridiculous i don't know in my opinion i hope they change it before they release the full game because this is brutal. Uh, if you did enjoy and you appreciate my efforts, please boost the like button. Make up for all the booshes my editor had to sit through. But yeah, for now, I'll say peace, love, and boosh. Bye, guys!